Well, Mo, man of the match today, you must be a, a happy man. Uh, yeah, I'm happy. Look, uh, I mean, as long as we win the game, I'm always happy. But I thought for man of the match, I don't think I deserve it. I thought other players were kind of like better than me, like Deki. I thought it was, like, for me, man of the match. But anyway, as long as we win, uh, I'm happy. <laughs> of course, happy to be, be back and, and starting games again. Yeah, yeah, because I missed the, past, the last three games because of that bad card. So it's been it's been like, like a long time for me to just to sit in a stand and watch the game. But I'm, I'm glad that the manager picked me for, for the game today and I'm glad we won. And a change of shape today, how do you think that worked? Yeah, I mean, we, we kind of play like um, a 4 4 2 bit diamond, but I mean, we can play any kind of shape and I thought we did, we did a good job today. Mm-hmm. Previously, of course, a lot of the fans are so used to you sort of operating at the, the bottom of the diamond, but it was a few times today, you know, you seem quite comfortable and you'll know, be asked to, to go further forward as well. Yeah, because uh, um, Gaz Bilan is playing in that position and he's, he's been doing well, so I mean, you don't need to change when, when someone is playing well in that position. But I, I mean, I like to play any position as long as the manager pick me, then I'll try to do my best. So today, he asking me to just go forward and obviously when we don't have the ball to drop back and help, help Gaz as well. So I think we did a good job, all of us, the back forward, the midfield and the strikers. How difficult was it in that midfield? Because obviously Dumbarton put the extra man in there to try and kind of stifle things out a little bit. Well, I thought the first like ten minutes was kind of like scrappy for from us, but then once we start to put the ball down, we we managed to you know, create chance and then we managed to score goals. So apart from that, I don't think they create many chances. They hit. I know they hit the crossbar before we score, but I thought it was a good game for for, for us. I think uh, you know, obviously Charlie put us ahead with that goal. Did you did you start to worry that it's, it's not going to happen the longer it goes? No, 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 not to be fair because we, even before Charlie scored, I thought we were playing some good football. Uh, now before the first ten minutes, it wasn't it was kind of scrappy, but then once we managed to put the ball down, we were playing some good football, and then obviously we we managed to score one, and then second half was uh, much better. Is the worry when it's one nil the fact that you know a, a random deflection or a set piece suddenly you, you could be pegged back? Yeah, because once you score, you always think, okay, that's it. We score one goal, we need to, like we can relax. But in football, you just never know. Once you score one, the manager always wants us to go again to score like another one and the, and like the next one if it's possible. But if not, then we need to stay focused. Once it's, once it's, we score the first goal, and I thought that's what we did today. Yeah, the encouragement to do just that and keep pushing forward seemed to be uh, quite flowing from both David McCracken and Lee Miller. We heard. The, the shouts from the from the touchline. Yeah, I mean, uh, just, just keep like, keep telling us to go forward and try to kill the game as soon as possible if we can. I mean, you know, you can see in the last third we have some good quality players who can hurt any team, and I thought today they did well. Defensively, with due respect to Dumbarton, not too many questions asked of us. Sorry. Not too many questions asked of us in a, in a defensive capacity. Yeah, I mean, I we, had, we had a good shape as well, so maybe it was kind of difficult for them to to hurt us. But I thought the back four did well, and Robbie as well. Like, so it was it was a good good team, good team performance, I think. It's a couple of uh, good finishes from Declan. The first one especially, just a glancing header. Yeah, it was a good cross from Paul Dixon, and then Dicky inside the box. You, you just know with him once you get a chance, you will probably score, and I thought he did well today. How important is it the fact that you know Fogart have guys on the bench who can come on and, and make an impact as well? Yeah, that's that's what uh, Lee and Cox have been telling us. You know, everybody like is very important. Even the players who are not playing just now, but once once they're on the bench and the the Lee and Cox ask them to go on, they need to make a difference. And that's what's been happening since they came in. Like everybody's been like you know on it like from from the start to finish. Everybody's working really hard. How difficult will it be and how much belief is there that the guys can go and put a run of like four, five, six games together? Because as a layman looking at it, that seems to be the key to, to anybody breaking clear in this league. Yeah, definitely. That's what we've been like, you know, talking about the past few weeks. We just need to go on the run, but we need to stay positive and, and not to focus too much about the next game. And the next game, we need to just wait and see what happens. But as long as we keep on winning, then we, we never know. But we, we're happy just now. Still have a, a long way to go yet. Yeah, of course, it's another road trip next week. I think it's uh, Peterhead away, if they're not the top of my head. Can we go up there this time and, and get a result? Yeah, well, I don't see why not. I think we've got a good squad and uh, we're going to go there and try to do our best to win the game like every, every, every other game. Here's hoping we can. Well, as always, well played Thank and you. Happy New Year. Thank you, Happy New Year. Thanks.